While social media make our lives a lot more convenient, offering a platform for learning and sharing experiences, it can bring psychological harm. 4.75 of 7.8 billion people use the internet. Research shows that we spend more time on social media on these virtual platforms than what we spend in our real lives. It becomes harmful when we use social media as an escape from our real lives to live in a virtual world. A world where we take on personas suited to our social acting characters. Yes, we are social actors. A social actor is someone who chooses their character in a given situation and can therefore change their identity to accommodate various situations. In one way or another, we are all social actors, complying with different set rules within society. But imagine how unhealthy it must be when we spend more time on social media acting than what we spend in our real lives. We compare ourselves and conform to the extent that we lose our individuality. Social media has become a key contributor in young people suffering from anxiety and depression and committing suicide. We have become addicted to getting validation from online. We compare our lives to the glamorous lives of bloggers, YouTubers, influencers, and our peers who seem to be 10 steps ahead and we fall into depression because our life seems bland compared to theirs. However, what most of these social media role models don't tell you is that their lives aren't always that glamorous. Now you're stuck in a make-believe world or at least one that exaggerates all your negative emotions. You feel like an outcast and you're in a mental battle. Because we're constantly under the public gaze, we always try to put our best foot forward. This is exactly what social media does. Everyone posts their best lives and not their real lives. After seeing a meme that says, social media has 23-year-olds feeling as if they are running out of time, I reached an epiphany. Yes, nearing the adulthood phase comes with anxiety. But I realized that seeing my peers who seem to have their lives figured out and individuals with great achievements triggered these normal anxious feelings into overpowering anxiety. I was comparing my life to theirs. Ever heard of the phrase comparison is a thief of joy? Well, it's true. Be aware of social media. Engaging in the comparative nature of social media will only end in emotional unrest. All I'm saying is, do not be a social actor to the extent that you lose your individuality and sanity.